Hey guys, it's Robin. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Uh, today I've got a deep clean of my kitchen for you. I'm gonna make this into like a two-part section where today I'm gonna be taking everything off the countertops, if you can see the countertops, everything off the countertops, cleaning them, sanitizing them, taking everything off the top of my cabinets up there. I've got a lot of stuff up the top. Um, use a vacuum cleaner to get all the cobwebs and clean up there. Uh, I'm going to clean my kitchen window inside and out. I'm going to do the baseboards around the bottom. Those get so dirty so quickly. Um, and I'm going to pull out my refrigerator. I haven't cleaned behind that in a while. And I'm going to do it like live. I'm not going to pull it out and check on it before I uh, video it. So fingers crossed it's not too bad when I pull it out and clean behind it. Of course, clean on top of it also. So, and probably a few more things, but the second part is going to be where I come in. I've ordered some organizational type things for my spice racks and for my teacups and saucers that were my Granny Hortons. So I have ordered a couple of organizational products that I'll show you all that day. I'm going to take everything out of my cabinets, wipe it down, organize it a little better, put it back in. I'm kind of a minimal, minimalist, so I don't have a lot of extra stuff in my kitchen. Um, for instance, if I buy a new pot, I'll take a pot that I'm not really using much and give it to a family member or a friend. So I'll try to keep my kitchen as simple as possible and not have too much of one thing. Um, but however, we all know that our kitchens get dirty quickly, no matter how organized we feel like we are. And I have two Lazy Susans on the corner of my cabinets that holds my um, some of my lids and my canned food items and things like that. So I'll take everything out of that Lazy Susan and clean that out. And you'd be surprised how quickly that gets dirty also. So anyway, thank you for coming. If you came for some cleaning motivation, let's get going. Never up, never down, never Like a theme in a song, clever Feeling high, feeling low at the same time Feel so right, then I'm wrong, hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool pop in here also and just say real quickly once you have everything off your counters and you can see everything that you have and um, I'm gonna take this time to try to move out some things that, that really don't spark joy in my life I love thinking of that reason um, to get rid of stuff or to pass it on to someone else that could get some joy out of it so this is a great time to take an opportunity to go through your stuff and see what you really want to put back on your cabinets all right now that I've got everything off the countertops um, we will start on the top of the cabinets now and get everything off from there because I believe you're supposed to start cleaning from the top and go down. So any dirt that falls from the top of these cabinets will go down to my countertops and then I'll clean my countertops and that goes down to my floor. So then I'll clean my floor. So that'll kind of be my process today. So let's see if I can get on top of this countertop and get everything off the top of the cabinets. Wish me luck.
All right, let me film just a little bit on top of my cabinets before I start cleaning, just so you can see. This is why I'm going to try to vacuum it before I go to clean it. I think that would help me some. I don't know what that is. I think that's, yeah, that's, that's dirt. Yay! <laughs> and then here's where that little tray was. Look, you can see the difference. Yeah, so anyway, so I am going to vacuum first with my handheld, and then I'll come back and clean it.
Now, for all my subscribers out there that love to see the dirt before and then after, there you go. That's what it looked like when I got a deal. Yikes! No, 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 don't need no pills to get high. There's no doubt in my mind. Your love is all that I need. And earlier I did not say that I was using some microfiber cloths. To me, those pick up that dirt so much better than just a regular kitchen rag like you see there laying on my sink. So I like to use microfiber cloths when I'm really doing some deep cleaning because it really seems to help. Uh, clean up a little easier. So I think I went through three microfiber cloths just on the top of my cabinet. So, and I will go through several more by the time this video is over. Is artificial plant was extremely dirty so I'm just gonna use this mixture that I have here the ponds on the water and wash it out really well try not to get it inside that little box there but washing it really well and then rinsing it really well another way to clean an artificial fake plant is to take some pine saw and just spray it all over the, the artificial plant itself just the leaves the fake leaves don't actually the pot um, and let it sit there and that lysol will kind of eat that dirt off of that plant or kind of make the dirt go toward the outside of the leaves and then just take a wet rag or a wet napkin and just wipe it down really well that's a really good way to clean an artificial plant but this one it was pretty bad so it really needed some extra attention so but that pencil just did really great on it All right, I feel like I'm halfway there. I've got all the cabinets. So the top of the cabinets cleaned off. Um, I've got the refrigerator cleaned off. I've got the kitchen window clean. So now I'm gonna get a fresh rag and now I'm gonna actually wipe down the outside of the cabinet. So I'm just gonna use a stool on this one and just go back and forth cleaning out my rag. And again, I just have some pencil and hot water is all that I'm using. And uh, it made them pretty shiny. If I had the energy, <laughs> um, I could have gone back and maybe used like some furniture polish and really polished them up, but my gosh, y'all, I probably should have done this video here in like two different days because this almost killed me. So I guess just up and down, up and down, up and down is all I did for several hours. So, but anyway, so, okay, so we're going to get the outside of the cabinets cleaned off and then we'll get my refrigerator cleaned off and put that back in and what a job that was getting that out and it's going to be another job getting it back in. So, and any minute you're going to see me sweep and mop and for some reason, this is uh, me reminding myself that when I'm filming, uh, or after I get through thinking that I'm filming, I've got to check and make sure it was actually on record because you're gonna see me get my mop bucket already. You're gonna see me get my mop already. 
and then you're gonna see me walk over and then that's it the next something else so I didn't get myself mopping behind the refrigerator but believe me uh, I did get back there and scrub and get behind the refrigerator really clean that was a really good feeling and such a sense of satisfaction that I didn't get to get on film so sorry but lesson learned for this amateur that I am so okay so let's just continue wiping down the cabinets because you're scared and only finally got some closure yeah i can finally start over yeah to all my ladies who got a brother that doesn't treat them right put your finger right in his face and tell that man bye bye i'm too fly i'm too Got a brother that doesn't treat them right Put your finger right in his face And tell that man bye-bye Okay, y'all, I pulled it out. It's a little dark back here, so you might not be able to see anything. Sorry, but just wanted to show you. Well, it's not too, too bad, but you can't tell between the my wood floors and what the dirt is, but better than I kind of expected, that's for sure. Let me see if I can get closer down here. See a little bit, so. I will fight like no other every day. All right, now that I've got behind the refrigerator and mopped and cleaned real well, even though I didn't get it on video, it's good to clean. I'm going to take this duster and just dust off the top of the cabinet so it was pretty good bit of dirt laying up there and I kind of like to get dust off of something before I actually spray something wet on it. So that duster comes from Grove Collaborative and what's great about it is once you get that dirty you just pop off that little white uh, dusty fluffy thing and throw it in the washing machine. So it's kind of reusable and I really like that. So I will have a link to my Grove Collaborative down in my description box if you'd like to check it out. Um, also I'm using the Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray in the basil scent. I had never tried this scent before there's so many different ones so I tried it out and it's so refreshing I really have, have enjoyed this basil scent so that's I'm going to recommend you try that fragrance also so okay now I've just got my wag 
my rag good and wet again with that ponsel. So I'm going to wipe it down with a wet rag and then I'll go back and dry it with a dry rag just to kind of get everything dried before I move on to my next step. You too. 
okay, now here I've just taken my sudsy water and put it in a bowl so it'd be easier for me to get to. And I have another clean rag. But uh, y'all, I think this might have been the hardest part. My old knees were like, what are you doing? But yeah, it was pretty tough. And I didn't even really show y'all all that I cleaned um, around the baseboards, but it was really hard to do leaning over like that. But I got it done. And let me tell you, it was a very satisfying feeling to get this kitchen done. Now, please know, I do not clean like this on a daily basis at all. I cannot tell you the last time I probably got down here on my hands and knees and actually cleaned my baseboards. Now, they needed it desperately. When I was sweeping, you couldn't really see it, but you don't realize how much uh, gets up under your cabinets like that. So, I got a really a lot out when I was sweeping before I even wiped it down. So it was pretty dirty. But anyway, I'm just hoping to kind of get you to get into some areas of your kitchen that you haven't cleaned in a while. And then you can just see the satisfaction and the great feeling after it's over with. So this was definitely one of the areas in the kitchen that really needed cleaning. When I took that off there, oh my gosh, it was so super dirty. So let me know in the comments, was there any spot in your kitchen after watching this video that you went to and deep cleaned and hadn't cleaned in a while? Okay, y'all, it is two o'clock. I started filming at 7.15 and cleaning and filming at 7.15. And I am just now gotten everything cleaned and it's 2.04, gracious. So pulled the refrigerator out, cleaned behind it, cleaned the refrigerator, cleaned the vent underneath it. You see Drake, she's crashed. And um, wiped off all the counters, cleaned the tops of my cabinets, huh, cleaned all my light fixtures, um, cleaned all the baseboards. The backsplashes just feels really good to have everything just really clean wipe down the chairs these chairs I have a love-hate relationship with because of these little rings right here oh my gosh they are so hard to take care of they're just always dusty so but I think they're pretty but they're very hard to take care of okay so now that we've got everything cleaned and ready to everything to be put back let's get everything redecorated Okay, I got it back up there. Not very happy with it. I need to add something, a greenery or something in that black thing right there, that black lantern. I don't know, I moved my Amazing Grace picture over here. It was over here. It was there, originally with those little green, little tin things beside it, so I moved that, so I don't know. I don't know if I've got things too spaced out, but I'll change it another hundred times before I get it just right. But this is how it is now.
Okay, y'all, I'm trying to incorporate this new um, tray that I got from my friend Charlotte. She, has a, she owns a tray days, and I already have it in brown. It's over on my buffet table, if you can see it, but I already have it in brown. And she had a red one, which I thought would go really great in my kitchen. But I originally had this for my little coffee bar area, and of course this on top of it to kind of organize it. But I was really wanting to use this in my coffee area, but I'm just not sure um, if it's going to work there or not. But y'all let me know in the comments what you think. Then I got to thinking, um, possibly, here's how the rest of it looks. Pretty much the same. I changed out a few things. Um, I just love these little chickens. <laughs> They're so sweet. But then I thought maybe I could use this little red butcher block tray on top of my refrigerator. I haven't got that complete decorated yet, so maybe... Okay, y'all, I'm finally done. I'm exhausted. So, got everything put back up. I rearranged a little bit. Um, I did leave my Amazing Grace sign there, and I did move the red um, cutting board over on top of the refrigerator. So, y'all let me know in the comments after you watch the video which one you liked better, the over the refrigerator, or did you like it better on my coffee bar area? So, anyway, okay, got everything back. Um, it feels really good to have everything clean now. No more cobwebs in the kitchen, and everything nice and sanitized. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for staying to the end and I'll see you in the next video guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.